Hello YouTube and welcome to my PC build overview where I'm going to be telling you a little bit about my new computer build which I primarily built for video editing. Almost anything I talk about I will have done a review or an unboxing on so just click the annotations on your screen to watch them. First of all I chose my processor, I chose the AMD FX6100 as it's a powerful 6 core processor at 3.3 GHz. To match this I needed a good board which would host the processor with an AM3 Plus socket, plenty of RAM, a good range of IOs, room for expansion, and finally, at a good price. I ended up with the ASUS M5A78L-M motherboard, as it would support my processor, up to 16 gigs of RAM, HDMI and USB 3 interface, PCI and PCI Express slots for expansion. For RAM, I have 8 gigs of Corsair Vengeance DDR3 RAM, which works awesomely, and I don't think I need any more than that. Graphics. Now, at this point, people are normally like, What? You have a 6-core processor, yet an integrated graphics card? What the hell? Well, the reason for this is the editing in Sony Vegas, which is what I use. It's CPU-based and does not utilize the GPU that much. Therefore, I stuck with the integrated ATI Radeon 3000 graphics on my motherboard, which works just fine. The main cameras I use produce AVC HD footage, which is brilliant, but produces huge files. So I've gone with the Western Digital Caviar Green 1TB hard disk drive due to its high volume of storage, fast SATA, and low power consumption. Talking of power, I already had a 350 watt power supply, which would be enough for this particular build. Finally, to install the operating system and burn DVDs, I got a cheap Sony optical disk drive. All this would be all over the place without a case, so I got my hands on a cheap Casecom CB191. It has no fancy LEDs, just the power button, reset switch, two front USBs and high definition audio ports. All of which easily plugged into my motherboard. Overall, the system works really great. I get a 4.6 out of 7.9 on the Windows Experience Index, which isn't too bad. 7.3 for the processor, 7.6 for the RAM, 4.6 for graphics, 5.2 for gaming graphics, and 5.9 for the hard drive. I'm really let down by the graphics performance, which isn't a real issue as I'm not a hardcore video gamer. I installed a 64-bit version of Windows 7 with Microsoft Office Pro, Sony Vegas, and all the other software I regularly use like Audacity and DVD Architect. In terms of what it was built for, Sony Vegas video editing, it works really great with some super fast rendering times and fab real time high definition video editing. I know some of you will be interested in how much the whole build cost me, so overall it cost me £372 for the computer itself, you can see how it's all split up there. If you want to see my reviews on any of the components I have talked about, then here are all the annotations from throughout the video, and if you have any questions then just comment below. I'll soon be posting a video where I'll go over my full video editing setup, so subscribe for that and more technology videos will be coming your way very soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.